The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. After all these years, now, after multiple accidents, now the FMCSA is now doing something about falsified ELD records. Well, you know, they've been, they've been, um, they have been banning a lot of the different ELDs and, and, and telling companies that if they, if they utilize certain ELDs that they have deemed, um, not, not authorized, that they gotta, they gotta switch them out. And then let's keep growing. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Hear the music. One of those ELDs should be the Sam Sarah. I've not yet seen it, but they keep adding to the list. I like the Sam Sarah, and I I didn't have no problem with it. But it seems as though that the Black Ops company I used to drive for, we had a Sam Sarah tablet, and they was mm -hmm. able to manipulate the time. I know about it because um, uh, uh, the company I was with uh, was able to do it, and me how to do it right i didn't participate in driving and having my clock manipulated the only time that my clock was manipulated is when like for example i started my clock early say for example my load don't pick up until 12 o'clock but i started my clock at eight o'clock in the morning so i would call up my dispatcher well it's be eight o'clock in the morning so i couldn't call him up at that time by the time i can get in contact with him it would be somewhere around 11 o'clock so i would call him up and say hey bro i haven't started driving and this is the very first time i said i haven't started driving yet but i said i already started my clock at the at eight o'clock in the morning man so i'm going to pick up the load but i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to get to you know, the place on time or whatever whatever and he was like hey nah, don't worry about it man he was like don't worry about it how can i not how can, how can i not hey, don't worry about it i just wanted to make sure that i'm going to be okay to make it to the appointment time on time he was like just uh, sign out and give me a couple of minutes and then i'll call you right back and you can sign back in and I'm, I'm like oh okay well, what you about to do now see what i was thinking was that they was just gonna probably take my on duty time and just transfer them over to off duty that's that's what i thought I, I thought it was just going to transfer all of that so that i can get at least a little bit more time back all right no problem but next thing i know i he calls me back and says sign back in and accept the changes i was like oh. sign back in accept the change and poof i got a whole 10 hours like i never started the clock i was like at at that time i didn't think nothing of it. i was like i i didn't drive i didn't do anything you know like that so by them doing that i, I kind of accepted that but yeah that's how they're able to manipulate the time to manipulate the clock they can do that by doing whatever they need to do on their end and then when it comes back to you you just have to sign back in and 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 you have a whole new you have a whole new clock a whole new 10 a whole new eight a whole a whole new 14 hell a whole new 70 and by some companies they they use that to give the drivers opportunities to make the money that they claim that they can make when they be putting out there on facebook and on these social media platforms hey you can make about three thousand dollars a week you can make about four thousand dollars but can you make that three or four thousand dollars legally yeah. two thousand twenty five hundred hell i've I seen three thousand legally but you you pushing the envelope for four or more so you gonna have to run lights out and these black op companies give these drivers the opportunity to do it and as i say these drivers are accepting this like i told the one guy when i talked to him i said hey bro you accepting that by you accepting that 
you taking the responsibility and that's what the company is inspecting you to do because once you accept it you assume all responsibilities to whatever happens to you see the safety director from my previous company told me to my face right off the rip that in so many words their position is for the company you know what i'm saying so if there's anything that you do and that you get hemmed up for pretty much falls on you when it comes to the eld or any violations thereof see their position is for the protection of the company not you per se even though they'll turn around and say hey, we're for the driver we want you to do this and we want you to do that but but when it comes down to it if it's you or the company oh they're going to stand 10 toes down with the company absolutely they are going to stand 10 toes down but considering the fact that the fmcsa is now coming in and and looking at some of these black op companies for their eld practices it's only because of the fact that some of those companies has been in like tremendous crashes was that triton crash of a couple of years ago where the driver actually told the, the trooper that he had a ghost rider and he was to use the ghost rider for him to How do you have a drive? ghost rider well a ghost rider is or a ghost co-driver is just that it's a, it's an actual comp is actual driver name driver credentials driver clock in and that driver well, not an actual driver. is not an actual driver that's the driver that you assume after your clock runs out then you will assume that driver and you will oh, continue to as illegal as that shit. it's it's illegal if you're not the actual driver driving so who's driving the truck that, that's like saying your actual co-driver let's say there is a physical co-driver in the truck right you you got your co-driver yo your co-driver is in the back sleep though and let's just say you you just so happen to run out of hours but your co-driver is not in a position to drive let's say your co-driver is tired maybe got a cold or whatever the case or you just want to be nice enough and give your co-driver a couple of extra hours of sleep you would drive up under their clock but if you get pulled over and you are the driver and your actual driver that's in the truck that's supposed to be in the back yeah you're going to get in trouble you, you you're going to get in trouble because the driver that's supposed to be driving is not driving and it's you you're, you're not supposed to be driving you're out you are out of hours you are supposed to be resting you are not supposed to be driving the truck your co-driver is supposed to be driving regardless of the situation now if your co-driver is sick or whatever then he needs that truck needs to be parked until once co-driver feels better to drive or your hours come back so you can drive but in this sense right here you don't have a co-driver you your co-driver is ghost you are both the driver and the co-driver but you're driving up under somebody else's name that the company give you to drive under well that's wrong on the company part see the company and, and, and allegedly let me just say that because allegedly but there are accounts there are articles there are videos in particularly this one this video right here let's let's listen to how a company give this driver the opportunity to not only drive lights out but to show us how he can drive or continue driving with a ghost driver let's let's hear what he has to say hold on this is state express this is my account on here on straight express i try to put it off duty and somebody on the other side of this account is putting me as off duty even before i drive look at this and they they try to put us to account to drive and they try to manipulate the system look at how they do it look at how they do it they give us a password is 310 670 and this they manipulate to have two accounts and i put them and i told them 
that I want a 34 hour to rest. But look down here on the screen. I have 70 hours, they put two accounts, 70 hours. Now I'm gonna switch to the other account. You see my name down here on top? This they want to manipulate, sorry DOT, but you can invent as many law you want, but they cheat on the system right in your face and you don't see. Look what they do. Now I'm gonna switch to the other account. See, PTI safety. Now I'm gonna put this, the driver. You see, they put me as a personal use. Not personal use, because I finish. I finish my, I finish my load down here. I came down here and without us, somebody switch everything in there at the company. They want to manipulate that they can put us quick back to work. You see down here, it shows that I have now three hours and 45, 43 minutes. But they put down here off duty, off duty, off duty one minute because I decide to clear that up. But you can see down here, I have just 13 hours. And the other account, I have 70 hours to drive. There's two accounts. I'm gonna switch to the other account now. Switch into the other account. Look at how easy. They manipulate the systems just in their favor. Everything to make it easy for them to make money. About us? No, we don't make the money. 3, 10, 6, 70. Boom, you want hours? You have hours, you see down here? 70 hours, you see? I have 70 hours, cause they manipulate, you see the same name. They manipulate in there, that we have hours to drive, but we don't have hours to drive because they manipulate the system. Now I'm gonna switch back again to my account, back again to drive, you see? You have, I have just 13 hours, 13 hours. This is the right one that I drive, not that fucking crazy one with so many hours yeah sorry dot whatever the law you invent make sure people don't copy because you see they copied two accounts in the same tablet the same system and they manipulate the system for their own favor make sure somebody do something about this because they manipulate the system that we can drive as many hours as they can push us to drive and we break the law and if we have an accident, they say, oh, what's the driver? It's the driver's fault because they don't pay attention. No, because you push the driver to drive more than 80, 100 hours a week. The only thing that's going to happen to the driver is fall asleep on the wheel and die or crash into someone. That's going to happen. But I hope somebody do something about this. Will he still work for them? Now, to answer your question, I don't know if he still works for him. I highly doubt it. I highly, I highly doubt it because this video was a year ago. This video was a year ago, but I doubt it that he still drives for this particular company. He did mention did he name the company. Yeah, he did. He did name the company and it's allegedly a state express allegedly, but he was showing in the video or he was showing that he has two accounts and it looks as though it is two accounts with his same name so his one account with his name has three hours of drive time left but he switched it over to a different account with his name that has a fresh 70 and it still has his name on it it still has his still has his name on it from what so i'm looking at two accounts under his name yeah driving. yeah 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 and it's up under his same name he has two accounts with his name so he's he's using his name but they gave him two fraudulent accounts like some other companies would give you a drive up under your name and then they'll give you another name to use to drive up under and they say allegedly they will tell you that if you should ever get pulled over by the dot this is what you say and the triton driver that caused the accident he was told to say that he just dropped off the driver at his home state and he was on his way to the terminal or whatever the case but it was but that. they can they can check they can fact check all of that so why lie well they can't well at the time they can't fact check it they they can't well, fact they check it because well, all they got to do is say what's the name of the person what's his phone number yeah yeah but they they at the time if you get pulled over by a dot if he wasn't in the accident and he just legitimately got pulled over by the dot then he could have just went on here and 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 read the script and then the dot officer will probably say oh okay 
blah, blah, blah. The company the terminals down the way, bam, bam, boom. But he was in the accident, which caused a fatality, right. which now they fact checked it and everything. Right. And now they say, okay, he, he, it was him running lights out and he wasn't truthful uh -huh. and the company threw him up under the bus because when they yeah. reached out to the company, the, 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 back up that drive. yeah, the quote unquote owner of that company say, Hey, we, we ain't know nothing about that. We don't know nothing. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? We, we ain't know that. But now FMCSA is now t targeting falsified ELD records in their new approach because of all the crashes and all the articles I'm assuming and they coming in coming in to circumvent the S the HOS rules uh -huh. faced with evolving tactics to bypass hours of service the FMCSA is taking steps to combat electronic logging device fraud why they are making all of these ELDs eligible. Yeah. Because they might be finding like with all these different ELDs that you're able to manipulate time and, and information like that. And that might be why, because cause they're not, because how you gonna have this many damn ELDs on the market and the FMC is, is saying, oh no, you can't use this. You're potentially putting businesses out of business, you know, that are creating these ELDs because if they can't sell them, you know what I'm saying? Yep, that's exactly that. That's exactly what the so FMCSA it be, does. It, it's probably it, it's probably something related to all of that because they're not really giving a reason why you can't use them no more. They just saying that if you're using these, you have to stop immediately and replace them with an approved device. Yeah, and it, at this point, it's going to have to probably be now FMCSA certified like they did with the, mm -hmm. like they did with the schooling and the clearing house yeah. and all that other stuff. So, yeah. but the agency is launching a multi-pronged approach to address what is described as a moving target. In particular, yeah. the agency cited the National Transportation Safety Board concerns with so-called ghost drivers as well as drivers utilizing multiple ELD accounts just like the one that was shown in the previous video that we just heard uh -huh. and it is exploring various technology or technological technological tech technological technological requirements to target these specific issues it's also monitoring the eld performance data training enforcement personnel to identify and act against fraud and removing non-compliant eld providers from the market and updating its eld rules just like you just said they are removing those devices and honestly even though i like the sam sarah tablet but that could be next on the chopping block to go i wouldn't be surprised because i mean hell since in the time that i worked in the 10 months that i was working i had to have seen at a minimum at least a good 50 to 60 elds being put out of service through the fcsa through the newsletter fmcsa is committed to staying diligent with it's fraud prevention efforts. I hear about it. They keep trying to say, oh, there's money to be made. Well, the only way you can make the money that they be talking about is you have to have certain levels of experience and time in to be able to make that kind of money. And if you're getting with these companies as a newbie and you make a few mistakes and they cancel your, your contract with them, how are you ever supposed to get to making that money? So then, trucking is not going to be that desirable leave it for the people that's already out here leave it for the veterans that already got the experience but yeah people are going to start looking elsewhere because the attraction is no longer going to be there you got veterans like yourself already saying like they're not seeing the money <clears throat> i put my time in and i'm not reaping the reward <clears throat> of the time that i put in exactly 
I mean, I just had another trucker friend. In the time that I've known him, this is the second time he's he's come out of trucking. Well, the the first time he came, he went out, he went back to an old job, but when he saw the money wasn't gonna be what he wanted, he went back into trucking. Got back into trucking, trucking still wasn't making him the money he wanted. So he was able to find a driving a driving job that was more that was local, but it's not um, you know, it's not the trucking like what what you do and what he used to do. So now he's a driver, like a contract driver driving a van for I believe Staples. And that's where the money is gonna start uh, being looked at to be made in local driving, whether it be a box van, minivan, sprinter van, utility van. People are gonna start not wanting, a lot of people already don't wanna be over the road and away from home and can't sleep in their bed every night. And the, and the way that big companies and even some of the smaller companies are treating their long haul drivers, that's what they're gonna, they're gonna make them drivers start looking at those jobs that are letting them stay home. And then you're gonna have no long haul drivers.